Hey everybody, it's Steve. And if you like making light shows, you can spend hundreds and hundreds and even thousands of dollars on lights and lasers and make some really amazing shows. But what if you don't have hundreds and hundreds or even thousands of dollars to spend? Well, this little guy has both lasers and LEDs and it's all built into this compact little case and it's under $100. And in this video, I want to first unbox one, then quickly show you its features and functions, including its remote, and also take a quick peek under its hood. Then look at its DMX integration with a very strange twist. And finally, show it going full bore with a hazer so you can see what kind of light show you can get for a budget price. Okay, let's see what we got in the box. This box came from Amazon. Oh, got a box in a box. Looks like a packing slip. Power cord. Oh, cool. It's a remote. Looks kind of like a Fire TV remote. Mounting bracket. Look like mounting screws. Here's the light. And this looks like a quick little instruction manual. This thing is compact and lightweight at just nine and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall without the mounting bracket. And it weighs just a little over two pounds. It's got a sturdy metal case and it's literally so small, you can throw it in a backpack or a small bag and carry it anywhere. On the front, there's these four openings where the two green and two red lasers are emitted. And you'll see in a minute, they're projected through moving lenses that produce different patterns. In the middle, there's three two watt LEDs, a red, a green, and a blue that rotate behind this plastic honeycomb lens or what the manufacturer calls its magic eye. Here's the IR sensor for the remote. And you also get these very professional looking big white music notes that are painted on. There's a little cooling fan on the side and on the back there's an LED screen and menu control buttons, a microphone for the sound active mode, power in jack and DMX in and out jacks. And on the top it comes with this adjustable mounting bracket for hanging it on your T-bar or truss. Now normally I don't take my lights apart unless I have to, but I was curious and I wanted to show the inside of this thing. And you can see how the lasers project through these rotating discs to make their patterns and how the three LEDs are mounted to this circuit board which travels in a circle behind the lens. A lot of my other smaller party type lights have really tiny remotes, something like this, that really don't work that well. But this one really has a very cool one that kind of looks and feels like a TV remote. And you have to put in your own AAA batteries. I guess at this price, you can't expect them to include the batteries. But once it's powered up, it really works very reliably with really good feeling buttons. This light basically has five different auto functions and three different sound active functions. And you can access them from the menu controls or from the remote control. And when it powers up, it's in DMX mode. It's showing us that it's a DMX starting address of one, but you can change that with the up and down buttons. Down makes it go up and up makes it go down. It's kind of interesting. Hit enter to set the DMX starting address. And then you can cycle through each of the auto functions with each press of the menu button. You can also go to the LED by itself or the laser by itself. And then there's the three sound active functions, which I'm going to show you with the remote in just a minute. And the final menu function is a flash, which is a strobing effect. 
Okay, let's go to sound active mode and I'm going to access these with the remote control. Sound active one or music one is here. The S1 means sound one and the second two digits are the patterns in the sequence. Each time the microphone hears a transient in the music, it advances to the next pattern with a blackout in between in music two mode. It does the same thing, advances to each pattern but without the blackout in between and then music mode three, S3. Here there's no movement. It's actually reacting to my voice but it progresses to each scene but when there's silence there's no motion. You can also turn the unit on and off with the remote control which is convenient. Okay let's go over the DMX functions of this light and because this is a video about a budget light show this is my budget Lixida DMX controller and I'm going from the DMX out on the controller and I'm going to plug it into the DMX in on the light. But wait a second, there's a problem. This is a female end on this DMX cable, but the DMX in on the light is a female jack. So the only way to plug that in is if you've got something like this which is this is an XLR male to male adapter so an XLR and DMX cables are the same configuration with their pins so I'm gonna plug in the one end of the adapter to the end of the cable and plug this into the light and now we're all set up this is a 10 channel laser and on channel one you can go in and you can access each one of the five auto functions as well as the sound active modes and also the flash function and you can turn the light off here. On channel two it's a dimmer for the red LED, dimmer for the green, dimmer for the blue, on five you can turn on the first red laser, six the first green laser, seven the second red laser, and eight the second green laser. Now let's turn on a red and a blue LED and we're going to go to the next page selection to go to channel nine. Channel nine you have control over the LED motor. So you can make it faster or slower. We're going to turn that off. Let's go back to the first page. Turn off the LEDs. Let's turn on the lasers. And on channel 10, you've got control over the laser motors. Speed counterclockwise and then clockwise slower and faster. And the nice thing about DMX is you can really customize your scenes. So let's say that we want to have slow turning lasers but then we're going to go back to page one and we're going to bring in let's bring in just the red LED and we're going to rotate the red LED slowly also. And so we've created that custom look that we can save as a scene and recall whenever we want to in our light show. This light does a lot for how small and inexpensive it is. And I really like that it has a very functional remote. But if you're planning on adding it to your DMX chain, you're going to have to do some workarounds. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.